Sam, in order to know true surround sound, you must become the surround sound. Today we are going to be looking at the Panasonic SC GN01. Not the catchiest name, I'll be honest. What this is, is wearable surround sound. I know, sounds incredible. They're not headphones, they're more like neck phones. And it is a really bit of weird tech. Obviously someone at Panasonic thought, last thing I need to be doing is setting up speakers all the way around my room. Why well, I just attach them to myself? And that's what this is. Basically, you just hook them around your neck, plug them into the sound source, and hey presto, you have live surround sound around your neck. Now this is something I'm yet to see, and there could be two reasons for that. The first reason could be that Panasonic are geniuses, and this is a fantastic idea. The second reason could be that this is a terrible idea, and therefore everyone's avoided it. But today I'm going to find out. I'm going to give you a lot of the specs, the price, and hopefully you can use this video to decide whether these are something that might be worth adding to your setup. So let's get started. So the box is a bit of a cheap car body feel. And then inside, as you pull out the speakers, the plastic surrounding them isn't the nicest. You get this gubbins here with all the important documents, don't need that. And you get your headphone jack cable as well. And as I pull out the speakers here, um, you can see they look fairly decent quality. You've got this fixed cable here, which we'll get onto later. Uh, but they're flexible, they're lightweight, they feel good in your hand, and ultimately that's all you can really ask for. I really need something to call this other than the GN01, because that is a terrible, terrible name. Now Panasonic are calling it the Sound Slayer, but then they also call other speakers the Sound Slayer, so I don't really know what they're trying to do with that. We'll just stick with neck phones for now. Who are these actually for? So Panasonic are aiming these towards gamers. You can see that on the box, you can also see that in all of their marketing material. And I'll be honest with you, that is probably the main people that are going to make use of this. And they mean that for a few ways that I'll get into. So according to Panasonic, the GN01, or the neck phones, are the industry's first neck type 4 channel surround sound speaker for comfortable and exciting gaming. They offer a natural realistic surround sound as if the user was in the center of the game, which let's be honest, that's what all surround sound does. And that's also what headphones do. So, okay. The three gaming sound modes were developed jointly with the Final Fantasy 14 online sound team from Square Enix. So people that should know what they're talking about are involved with the production of these. So hopefully they're good. Now the neck phones feature four speakers located in an ergonomic ideal position. The surround sound will come from all the directions so you can immerse yourself into the game and be part of it. Now the real benefit to these neck phones is the fact that they are meant to be more comfortable. Now one of the issues a lot of people have with wearing headphones is that they do get uncomfortable after a while, whether it be weight on the top of your head or weight on your ears. A lot of headphones can be very uncomfortable and you do have have to pay quite a large premium to get headphones that you can also deal with wearing for long periods of time. Now the neck phones are designed to eliminate that by taking the weight off of your head and putting them onto your shoulders. Which I've got to be honest is more comfortable than wearing them on your head and unlike headphones where you start to get that sort of aching pain if you've been wearing them for a very long time. You don't get that with these. They are very comfortable for quite a long period of time. The neck phones feature three gaming modes. You have an RPG role-playing game mode, and this also been optimized for Final Fantasy XIV. This mode is designed to create a sense of reality and intensity, as if you're inside the game's virtual world. You have an FPS first-person shooter mode. Now this provides accurate audio location, which allows users to hear subtle sounds such as footsteps, giving players the advantage in first-person shooter and third-person shooter games. And thirdly, you have voice mode. Voice mode enhances human voices and further contributes to the immersive experience, recommended for adventure games where clear dialogue can provide important clues. The neck phones also do have a cinema mode, a music mode and just a standard stereo speaker mode. Now ultimately when testing out the neck phones you can notice slight differences if you know what to look out for when switching between the sound modes but are you really going to notice that much of a difference? 
Probably not. And chances are, after wearing it for quite a while, you're probably just going to leave it in the same mode that you turned it on in anyway, say. So. But it is a cool little feature, and if you are into that sort of precise advantage you might get from that mode, maybe that's something that will be really good for you. Now these neck phones also do have a mic built in, with noise cancelling and echo cancelling as well. So if you are going to be playing games with people and chatting to other people, that's going to be something that will be invaluable. Come on, stop killing me. Mum, oh the headphones also have volume buttons, mute buttons, and a separate mute button for muting your microphone if you might be on chat. And let's be honest, the last thing you want is everyone to hear you shouting down to your mum to throw you up some clean underwear. Never again. Now something that you could say is a little bit annoying is that the neck phones are wired. You do have a choice of whether you wire it via USB or auxiliary, but unfortunately they haven't been able to make them wireless. I can kind of understand why. Obviously you'd have to then include batteries, and they're going to have to be something a bit juicier than headphone batteries, because it would be speakers and not being headphones, so they're going to have to be outputting a lot more power. And obviously if you then put batteries capable of that in, it's going to add a lot more weight, it's going to make it a lot less comfortable. So a little bit of an issue there. They have solved that issue by just making it wired, which you could say is a positive because it gives you a faster response time, apparently. But let's be honest, having to use a wire is a massive pain in the ass, especially when you consider a lot of high quality surround sound systems these days are wireless. So the wire that's constantly attached is the USB cable, and that will need to be plugged in in order for these to work. Even if you're connecting your source via the auxiliary, you still need to plug in to a USB source. Which, let's be honest, that's a massive pain. Obviously, if you're just connecting via USB, that's great. The problem I had is that my Xbox doesn't do sound over USB. And it also doesn't have an auxiliary cable. So I actually had to plug it into my TV in order to get it to work, which is great and all, but unfortunately you can't sit across a room. It's going to really be for people who are playing at a monitor or are playing close to their TV screen when they're playing games. Now unfortunately the USB connection is only supported by a PC running Windows 10 or a PS4 or a PS5. Unfortunately on my Xbox and if you have an Xbox or a Mac or anything like that, you're not going to get the full USB experience, you're going to have to plug in via the auxiliary, which again is a bit of a pain in the ass. Now these neck phones also aren't heavy, they're not light either, they weigh 244 grams, which is actually less than some headphones, and obviously going on your neck and around your shoulders isn't going to be putting anywhere near as much discomfort as something on your head. Now what do I think of the design? Well, ultimately they're actually very good looking. They are very comfortable, they don't look too bizarre, and the fact that they're this nice matte black finish on the bottom and then the cloth net over the top, it actually looks very smart. Underneath it's plastic and it isn't the highest of quality, but I'm assuming they've done that because they wanted it to be a bit lighter and a bit more comfortable. And you also have these pads that just make it a little bit more comfortable when it's sitting on your shoulders. There is a little band in the middle that's made of rubber, and I'm assuming that is just to make it a bit more flexible, again adding to the comfort of the device. Now if you are going to be using the USB cable, it does give you 3 meters of length. So that should be fine for most people. Any longer than that, then you're going to be struggling to plug it into whatever device. You do have to bear in mind that your wire is going to be traping across between you and the TV. Another issue with it not being wireless. Now how do these sound? Well, they sound alright. Ultimately, for the clearest sound, I would actually recommend headphones over these. Don't get me wrong, the sound isn't bad. The problem is, is that, as probably to be expected, unfortunately the bass isn't really there and you lose a lot of that sort of atmospheric feelings and when you're wanting a decent surround sound system that's probably one of the more important things. The surround sound is okay and definitely when things are behind you you can hear them really well. Unfortunately when it, things come around to the front of you in a game the volume tends to dip because unfortunately the, the speakers are further away from your ears. It's almost like when you're in the game it's easier to hear people behind you than in front of you. Which is a bit of a shame really because I was hoping that the surround sound was going to be the key thing. Are these going to change the game of personal gaming? I don't think so. But it is actually a very interesting product and I think with a few tweaks here and there and a few advancements in technology, they could be a really good idea. I just don't think it's quite there yet. Now don't get me wrong, for some people it might be worth buying these now, especially if you want 
that surround sound feeling without having a big speaker setup and you don't like wearing headphones. If you don't want to be wearing headphones, this is a great alternative, but nothing is gonna beat a decent set of headphones. Now, currently in October 2021 on Amazon.co.uk, you can buy these neck phones for 157 pounds and 79 pence. In the US, if you're looking at buying these, you're gonna be paying $199.99. So, you tell me if you think these are worth it. For that surround sound experience, it is a good investment, but when you're in that sort of price bracket, if you want to look for something that's gonna give you that experience, personally, I would be buying a good set of headphones. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on these wearable neck phones, and click this video here to hear a little more from me about something a little bit different.